Minnesota zone. Up to 15 points. His mid-range game is money. With your feet set and keep him in front. 11 points for likes in the first half. Double digits for the 18th time this season. And 61st time in his Miami career. Carey does a great job posting in the middle of the paint. Hard to double team when you catch the ball in the middle of the floor. DJ e. Horn only at six foot six has the assignment of carry tonight. DJ Horn with the ball right here. He typically ends up having to guard the biggest post player on the other team. He gets some revenge. Well, you'd love to get Horn to course to start back making some shots. He has been cold of late. Beatty so important to that to this roster. Redshirt Jr. from Auckland, New Zealand. And just his 12th made three of the season. Back to you. These guys have come to lay it all out. You keep telling me to lay out. Nolly, beautiful. Georgia by 19 yesterday. Virginia Tech upsetting Michigan State. Winning by five. Step back three. What, what does, does this mean, mean for Landers, Landers Nolly the second? Backdoor back layups. Landers Nolly a three. Okay, it says that Rafford is approximately 20 minutes from here. Do they not know the speed limit on 81 not if you're driving. is 70 miles per hour now? How does that take you 20 minutes to get 10 miles when you've got a 70 mile per hour speed limit? You have no it answer for me? It doesn't. No, okay, I, I was just checking. You. I was just checking. All right, just making sure. Oh, and we get a wide open three off of an underneath out of bounds play, and I'm sure that's something that is not going to sit well with Mike Chichester. Nolly fakes the three, steps into a two. On the disabled athletes team down at Auburn University, but Mike Young, his two children were both helping. Land of 80 degrees, land of never ending beauty. PJ Horn. His daughter Jamie's life. It's so many lives across the country. Basketball this year that stands above the rest. Kansas is the best team I've seen this year. Arizona is the second best team I've seen this year. Are you talking about in just in person or on television yeah. as well as finished, finished five for 30, 30 on threes, threes over the final 22, 22 games of last season? season. But he's, he's an, an X factor. factor. He can get you steals, he can get you blocks, and if he starts hitting threes, it's going to be a nice season in Spartanburg for the Spartans. Is that a chalkboard? Are you old enough to know what a chalkboard is? Why are you staring at that instead of the game? It, it's hard not to look at it. He's a lot to handle basketball. in there. He's a lot to handle inside. Yeah. Virginia Tech's success came when he was off the court. He's been the go-to guy early for the mocks. A lead to tip here. Let's see what the response is like from the Hokies. Beatty baseline. Beatty the reverse. Yesterday. And they beat UCLA. And now they're beating the Hokies, who have a really good team. Nice drive and finish. You know, Michigan State has done a pretty good job defensively in this game. Great cots. Double doubles. Nine offensive rebounds. He does a little bit of all that dirty work inside. And he is just as tough as his dad looks. Nice, nice contest. contest. The 50-50 loose balls. That's what Pitt is all about. And as you said, Virginia Tech had been so good on the glass to start. Tech to have to come in double. Underbrook, the fifth different NC State player to score so far. Here's Cone rising up. For three. Braxton Key. 58% from the line. <laughs> I was going to say, I, you said it. I, I, I wasn't going to call anybody out. But... Jay Huff, not a great free throw shooter either. Sitting on the bench right now for UVA. Cone. I think they'll listen. Clemson now back on top. 
court wide open. Eight ten free throws against North Carolina in that first matchup. And when you consider only two for two from the line for the Hokies, you can tell that the majority of their actions coming from beyond the perimeter. And he was his best in their biggest wins. Holly down low. Over number three ranked Michigan State at the time. Of course, they have been a great three point shooting team as his teams at Wofford were, but he gives his team the ultimate green lone guy who contributed on a regular basis back this year. How is Mike Young got them playing at such a high level with so many different guys? He says they calls it great freedom, and I, I attribute that to confidence. As you see, they continue to get the ball inside. He has the size advantage, you work the ball through the baseline. Put some pressure on that front line of Virginia Tech. Three-point shooter, when you, when you got that body and that size and length and, and that skill set, you want them to attack the, the basket more. Marcello now with five points, inside four minutes to go here in the half. Which is not as big as Hawaii. And it has more people. Yeah, the ball. And Goldwire inserted into the game early because Coach K recognizing that Duke has to do a better job of keeping Virginia Tech out of the painted area. They've been able to get straight line drives to the basket and get anything they've wanted to this point. Vernon Terry Jr. had Couture trapped in the corner. Only two seconds on the shot clock. Wilkins heaves it up. Oh. The values, credibility, honor, integrity. Just absolutely a spectacular leader. In the paint, storytelling, storytelling session, session is something we need to get a hot mic for between you and these officials. It yeah. is beautiful. Wilkins, he has been Everything that I love about basketball, that in an era, the modern era, <laughs> that has eliminated Dominique Wilkins, please. <laughs> it was recruiting, too. Oh Three point. I know you put a lot of work in there. Better than your grammar. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Thank you for pointing it out again. The screen for the screener action, but well guarded by Dayton. Very good communication. Beatty the kick. Nolly can get the shot. Example for this club this year. Mir Sims the leader in terms of being vocal. Telling his guys what to do. Nolly the spit. Michigan State fans now getting to their feet. Spartans back within two. Good pass. And Henry deflects it from. Virginia Tech up by seven. Nolly. And it's now Jeremy Gay who has the pleasure of matching up against Wabisa B. Voided on the extra effort by Radford. We got it again. Minus the B and Horn. Three freshmen. Sweet look. did it the first time. But, but if you stay just the right amount of time, you can take both things away. That's, That's what, what happened, happened the second time when Virginia Tech stopped that planned play. Out, they were four for twelve. They've made seven of their last eight. And they, they can't, can't miss, miss from beyond the arc. Virginia, Virginia Tech six of eight on threes. B finds. Glad I'm sitting over here next to you. Those types of things we hope even out over the course of 40 minutes and 30 ball games in a season. Under three to play in the half. Nolly tries from straight away. Tennessee State led. They jumped out 10-0. Virginia Tech has been in front most of the rest of the way after their 13-zip response. Radford, Radford. Good effort by Kenich. It's back to a one possession game. 75 seconds remain in regulation. Watch the acceleration through this set by Virginia Tech. Open three. I was watching. I'll hear about it after the game. Now it's Toppin on Nolly. I think Nolly needs to run him around and attack him. What a pass. No, they beat them in February 80 to 73. Cone. 1970. I was there. I wish I was there. Notice I totally stumped you. I left you speechless. Just throw out some random. The lead is a dozen. Nolly. Maybe exploit 
getting the ball inside to Thunderbird and let him use his length down low. NC State, a good three-point shooting team, but not a great three-point shooting team. Something lower. Rubbing his thigh on left thigh on the bench and not an ankle, but that's as far as I'll speculate. Cone hits the shot. Good defense by Henry to stay with Couture off that staggered screen. And it's getting louder and louder here at the Lahaina Civic Center. Wilkins cut off by Winston. Shot clock running down. Double-double for him. Averaging at least 12 points. So if somebody doesn't have a hot night, you got a lot of backup. Oh, they can also all put it on the floor, too. Five threats is hard, hard to defend. Radford puts it on the deck. Ali goes to the drive again, puts it up off the window, doesn't drop, second effort, rolls around. Radford. Oh, nice B. play. Here's for Lamont Paris, can shoot the triple. Nolly the answer by the four position. Uh, you know, Michigan State's have got final four ability. Three point field goals. And 42 63. That have been there. Anyway, there we covered it the other day. Barcelo, who is shooting 44% really? from three. I thought this was a different day. <laughs> and, your, and your question, read my answer. Teams in recent years, all of them within the ACC, three times against Duke, twice Virginia, trying to beat number three Michigan State here on a neutral court. A slice cut to get Nolly in the low post. Great pass. Great shots for everyone when they space the floor. Inside to Nolly. Third comeback here. Every time they've made a little run, Dayton has answered. Nolly's their go-to guy, but Hunter Couture has been knocking shots down. Nolly out to Beatty, 12 to shoot. Nolly driving on Watson, fade away over. Game, one minute to go. So Gabe Brown was right with Couture. Nolly! Oh! And we have to help each other that time. Neither one happened. We don't have a shot blocker in the background. Nobody to erase the mistakes. Here's Hunter Couture. Originally committed to Coach Young at Wofford before ending up at Virginia Tech. Nolly. Simpson has to battle when Trap and Beer come back in January. This team's going to have a potent offensive team. Beer will give them a shot blocker. Trap more shooting. Development of Sims, the freshman, Chase Hunter. Nolly in traffic. You know, this, again, again, it's a year that Virginia is not going to blow you away offensively. So they knew that. Uh, and I think this Virginia Tech team is going to be very dangerous throughout the year. Keep in mind, Virginia has held eight opponents below 50 for point scoring this season. Nolly around the rim. About 30 minutes from the Virginia Tech campus in Blacksburg. And interesting enough, Rich, we, we see Miami coming out and playing a man-to-man -man defense. They played 40 minutes of zone versus North Carolina on Saturday. They were limited to six scholarship players available. And by doing so, Jim Laranega had to rest his group. But now with the ability to shoot the pass over to Helen to knock down that three. It was 12 minutes into the game last year before NC State got to six. Am I going to? Am I? Are we going to have a problem? Am I gonna, are you going to keep this going on until they get past 24? Earlier, it looked like there was going to be a runaway with NC State. They've been able to defend, get their shots, and again, they're a team that does an awful lot off the pick and roll. A week on the flip side of things for Louisville as we check out the Virginia Tech starting lineup. So young, they have six freshmen or redshirt freshmen in the rotation. And they take a quick shot. And isn't that surprising, knowing that the action is imminent? Yeah, I mean, you got 90 seconds on the shot clock. You're going to take the first best shot. Now. 
Molly. You have to prepare for that when you're playing Virginia. You have to prepare for some bad stretches. And you gotta keep confidence high. Easier said than done. When you're, when you're a group that wants to create a little flow and score and get some shots up and some transition opportunities, it, it gets to drive and abandons Wara, who has his feet set to deliver that one. Can't give him looks like that. Boom. Three-point line, I'll get gritty, rugged, do it off the bounce. Those are the kind of plays, when he's making those, he's incredibly tough to guard. FSU held him down. He scored just 11 in that loss. He was 4 for 14. Leonard Hamilton's team does that to a lot of people. Here's Horn to launch. Player with community. Crowd was great. I love coming into this building, and I know you do too. And all of us who cover college basketball, it's one of the great places in the sport. You're always going to get a great crowd. They are into it. They're incredibly supportive. It's as much fun as any place in America. Smart, high IQ basketball. Beattie's been on the bench for a few minutes now for Mike Young. He's given him an extended rest period before we get under this under a 12 timeout. Couture for three. Believe in me now. Come play for me in the ACC. The fact that Mike Young stuck to his word and wasn't just giving him coach speak, Couture says, speaks to his character and he loves playing for the guy. Another catch and shoot three. Beattie's got two personal fouls. Clark now has 10 points on three of seven shooting, and that includes a three-pointer. Nolly make shots. It's a real different ball game. It's a simple game sometimes, and they've really struggled to make shots. But two threes early on is a great sign for them starting at home here. Isaiah Wilkins steps into a jump. Everything in this offense goes through Amir Sims. We got to shut him down. And evidently, he's not a Metallica fan. Enter Sandman. An assistant Blackberg as well. In addition to his 28 and 13 that night at the Castle, and he's just pushed Carolina to an eight-point advantage as Radford. Garrison Brook, both those guys getting their opportunities at the rim. That has to be the recipe for success for North Carolina for 40 minutes. Long distance and knocked in for three-point land by Jalen Cohn. Ties to his dad, his siblings have gone there, and Andre just two for 20 over his last four games from the outside. Cone, they set him up again. Landers Nolly. Passing off, here's Tyrese Radford. They played, but over time, particularly today, in the fifth place game, they were just a better squad, bigger and stronger than UCLA. And would, would, it, it's great. would it affect uh, I, the, I, the play? I mean, no. So, I, I love the Tar Heels are going back inside old school. Situational fast break team. But it'll be a big emphasis not to give any up. Aline to Horn. More than just give you a haircut. Have you ever had a massage? It's a very strange question you're asking me right now. As now he misses a three. He's six foot six. Nolly off the inbounds pass, can't connect, another offensive rebound. That's number seven on the night. His development and his success at Virginia Tech. Hokies back to work, Nolly left open. From Toronto, Kabongo. My Which favorite was Morningstar Takapu <laughs> from uh, Chaminade. <laughs> but they're getting pretty good looks. Yeah, yeah, it was just one, one offensive rebound. rebound. That perhaps the difference in games so far. But by, by far, the, the biggest challenge when you're in this big South, South RPI ranking 18 out of 32 conferences last year. How are you going to close this game out? Well, I think you're going to continue to execute on the offensive end. You're going to continue to find shots for Aline and Landers. Nolly. Because you've got so many different plays you've got to run and remember and so many different things defensively you're responsible for. Couture for three. Yeah. That's seven of eight from the floor. Six rebounds, contributing with a few dimes. Nice look to Horn who finished. Certainly did feel like that first half flew. Six-point lead here for Virginia Tech. Nah. Mack had grabbed him for a moment. It appeared to be a hook-and-hold situation. Looked more like a hook. Virginia Tech is not pressing. They're not forcing. And these are a lot of just giveaways for Wake Forest. Not really wanting to pass Dane Smith. 
<laughs> and right now, he think about it. I'm sure he wants to get to that point after losing four straight games. Okay, oh, yeah. we, we need to get this out of the way. But you can 